the busy buzz of a factory floor, where business suits and boardrooms are left behind for overalls and dangerous work. Mirab makes industrial scale water valves and employs hundreds of people around the country. And if things go to plan, they intend to hire hundreds more. There are some industries inside Iran. The more development and the more export we can do, the more factories will be brought online so we can employ some new workers. Business leaders and industry chiefs want to shift Iran away from an agriculture-based economy and develop its ability to make and sell manufactured goods. It's in big factories like this that Iran sees its financial future, heavy machinery being worked by a skilled labor force making important things. But if you were to drive by this industrial park on the outskirts of the capital, Tehran, you might not notice these buildings are a hive of activity. And that's part of the problem. Investing in industry needs financial resources. One of the solutions is foreign investment. We are providing some incentives to attract foreign investors. Definitely, foreign investment speeds up industrial development and can solve the issue of unemployment. Iranian manufacturers boast about cheaper labor costs than China. But foreign investors point to problems of scale and quality control, factors holding Iran back from taking on a production powerhouse that's been called the world's factory. American sanctions also hang like a question mark over Iranian factories. The government hopes offering free land and tax breaks will make it easier to convince people that Iran might be their cup of tea. Away from the factory floors, some three million Iranians are still looking for work. Mohsen Bidel is a 46-year-old air conditioning technician. He's been out of work for a month. The job situation is not good. All the opportunities are taken by people with connections. I have no university degree, so my resume doesn't register anywhere. When I lose my job, I have to start again from zero. Unfortunately, there is no way for people like me to have job security. Basic necessities are so expensive, having fun is something Mohsen and his wife no longer think about. He'd be willing to do anything to earn an honest living, but says the job market is saturated with young people also looking for work. Mohsen says he's too old for the government to care about him, and that he's putting his faith in God. But he admits, being unemployed is destroying him. Zain Basravi, Al-